Do not enter. Filming in progress. Hello, my name is Marty Yule, and today, got new shows! And this video is the start of season 11 of the Marty Yule channel. This is my fourth time trying to make this video, because the first time I did this on the... I actually did it the first time on the 28th of October, but it got taken down before I could even upload it. The second time, my brother, my little brother was putting me off. The third time, my mum wanted me. They're always giving me grief about me filming, yet if they just let me get on with it, I'd be able to get done quicker. But anyway, in case you didn't read the title of the video or somehow didn't notice that big massive fuck off prom in the thumbnail, I made that thumbnail all my own. I'm going to be sharing you my experience that I had with my after school prom, which took place on the 28th of June, four months ago, jeez, time really flies by. To be honest, I should have really done this video after my second part of trying American chocolate and before my Injustice 2 video. But anyway, before I start, I want to give a shout out to Pavra and Hina. And you're also wondering how I even managed to do that thumbnail in the first place. Well, I downloaded this app called The Thumbnail Maker and it's really cool. I get along with it really well. I got it for both my phone and my tablet. And I've, al and I've already changed thumbnails from videos that I've done in the past like like I changed the thumbnail to my seasons videos and I've also changed the thumbnail to my DVD and CD video and I even stuck a little live on my live stream and these two season videos but anyway because I'm not very good at telling stories I've split up what I want to talk about in chapters. The first is who I went with, where I went, what happened, and what I wanted to happen. Let's start with the first one with who I went with. I went with my girl. Amber Johnson. I won't say too much, but I will say that we first met each other when we went to a club. We had me, her, and her other friend called Emily May Atride. That's actually the, a person who I gave a shout out to on my second half of Trying American Chocolates. We also went to the same math class, which we still didn't really know a thing about each other. And yet when we started year 11, we were in the same classes all the time. And the first two months, I weren't really that bothered, but it wasn't until the 30th of October I started to to develop a bit of a crush on her. And, but I didn't, I didn't really tell anyone because I didn't know how to say it and I was embarrassed. And yet we got together on the 18th of June. That's four months, jeez. Time really flies by. And we used to sit next to each other at the benches at school during lunch. And I asked her, do you want to go to the prom with me? And she said, yeah. That's basically how it happened. Now, where I went. I went to a hotel called Holiday Inn. Which, in case you don't know, Holiday Inn is a British-owned American brand of hotels and a subsidiary of intercontinental hotel groups. Founded as a U.S. motel chain, it has grown to be one of the world's largest hotel chains with 1,145 active hotels as of 30th of September 2016. The hotel chain's headquarters are in Denham, Buckinghamshire. I can't say that right, but you get my point. Now, what happened? Even though the prom started at half seven, everyone arrived half an hour early. While I was, I was just waiting outside with my friend Bradley Brooks, I'm waiting for Amber, and when, when she eventually turned up, we got photos of each other. When we went in, based off, you know, the, the disco room and outside of the disco room and the outside, it, the hotel looked nice. I'm hoping the rooms that I didn't see aren't a wreck. But anyway, 
while I was waiting, my friend was just, Brad, was pissing about, just having a laugh. Kept tapping my girlfriend's back and she was saying, Oh, can you stop tapping me, Marty? Why do I always get the blame for everything? But anyway, but I, I tried to tell her it wasn't me, it was Brad. And then she was like, oh yeah, blame other people. But then eventually Brad did admit that it was him. We, then we went to the disco room. We decided on the table. You know those little things where you pull them and they pop? Kind of like what Dan Howell used in his first video. I was, I was, I kept popping all of them. And because I got a bit overexcited, it kept making my girlfriend jump and I was told to stop it by her, but that was quite funny. And there was one where the string came off, it didn't even pop. We also had a selection of drinks on the table, Coke, Sprite and Cherryade. I just kept downing the Coke and Sprite, but not the Cherryade. I'm not really a fan of Cherryade. We also had a bucket of ice. There were, we had balloons, sparkles, and streamers. We also had food. I had a burger with ketchup. The tongs were so greasy, they kept slipping out my hand. Quite disgusting, really. And then we danced on the dance floor for a fair bit. And then, when the DJ announced the prom queen and prom king, the pro he said the prom queen first. It was just some girl who I didn't even know, or never met before. But, when the DJ announced the prom king... In case you didn't see my Injustice 2 video, I was prom king. Everyone was cheering me, everyone was clapping me, saying, Well done, Marty. Every everyone wanted to take photos of me, wanted to dance with me. Everyone was saying positive things about me, everyone wanted to wear my crown. And, you know, it's kind of like, you know, I went outside to have a chat with my friend Brad, and we also took a photo, and I also had a chat with my teacher. He was saying things like, oh, it's weird, in a good way, oh, it's weird how you're prom king when you used to get bullied a lot. You know, you know, my girlfriend should know this, you know how in Ed, Ed and Eddie, where they always get bullied all the time, and yet in the end of the film, that everyone is friends with the boys. That's similar to what happened to me. I used to get bullied a lot all the time and now everyone voted for me for prom king. Even the people who used to pick on me cheered me saying well done Marty. I even managed to get a hug out of my girlfriend. We also took photos. Yeah. And whenever I was dancing on the dance floor every couple of minutes I was getting exhausted and just had a drink of either coke or Lemonade. I also, for a laugh, decided to grab a handful of ice from the bucket and just eat the ice. That was quite. That was quite funny. My friend even, my Brad even did that as well. And you know, my older brother and my older sister, they didn't go to a prom, and I, I feel like they missed out on a really fun night there. And I wasn't actually planning on doing this video, to be honest. Like, I wasn't going to do this. This video was my girlfriend's idea. She's the one who suggested it. So the, all the credit to this video goes to her, really. To me, the prom was a fun, successful night with me having to get to see my, all my friends. And me getting prom king, everyone calling me positive names, wanting to dance with me made me feel like I was welcome in a group that I was never welcome before. Even the girls were saying that, oh, I'm an amazing person. And you know what? I don't blame them. I mean, after all, only sexy people are born in February. And overall, I just had the greatest time, to the point where I was actually kind of sad when it was over. And how I managed to get home was my mum picked me up. Because... I wasn't actually thinking about going to the prom because I had to babysit my little siblings and my dad was on holiday and my mum had work, she works in the evening, but she took the day off work for me. Really, she should take a day off from interrupting me when I'm filming a video, to be honest. And you know what, I'm actually glad I went to the prom because it was the last time I ever got to see some of my friends again. Ugh. And now, the stuff that I wanted to happen. 
while I did get a hug from her, while I did get to see her, while I did get to take a photo of her, there were a couple of things that I wanted to happen but didn't. Like, I didn't get to dance with Amber, which was a bit disappointing, and I would have also to have liked to have kissed her as well, because, and I am not ashamed to admit this, I've wanted to say this for a long time now, but I love her. Even though she wasn't the prom queen, I was prom king, and every king needs his queen. So yeah. Actually, you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm actually glad I didn't get to dance with Emma, because otherwise I would have jizzed myself just like Andrew did from Big Mouth. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. So yeah, I'm just trying to think of what else I want to say. I mean, I'm repeating myself, but again, the prom was a successful fun night with me getting prom king, me making friends with the people I, I used to get bullied from, me seeing my friends for the last time, and hey, managed to get a dance, making me feel honoured because, yeah, because I was prom king, and you know, having a drink, and eating food, you know, just having a fun, good night, it was the, one of the best discos I've ever been to, so yeah, so, that was me talking about my after school prom. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, then share, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. And if anyone out there thinks my videos are crap, let me know why in the comments and hopefully I will improve. And if you're new to this channel, or you've just found it, feel free to subscribe if you want. I'm Martial, bye, I will see you very soon. I'm out. And one more thing, Amber.